So one thing that I always carry with me everywhere at this time of year is this screen box. And this is just a deep box with a screen on the top and screens on the side. And uh, this is for catching swarms. Almost every time I go into a bee yard, there's gonna be a couple of swarms uh, in trees with my bees. And so I carry this screen box around. Every time I find a swarm, I dump it into this screen box. And then uh, when I'm putting in queens or putting in queen cells in all of my uh, uh, splits, when I find a, a nook or a single that has low bee population after I made the split, um, then I'll open up this screen box, I'll wet the bees down with some uh, water, mix with a little bit of light sugar syrup and a little bit of vanilla um, to kind of mask over the smell of the bees. And I'll take about two cups worth of bees and I'll drop them right at the entrance of that weak split or weak nook. And what'll happen is those bees will kind of crawl in the entrance and because they smell so much like vanilla, um, the bees in the original hive don't bother them, but it's a great way to boost up the strength a little bit of, uh, of a weaker hive, of a weaker split. Um, and so we carry these boxes everywhere we go and each crew has usually a box of these extra shake bees is what we call them uh, to help boost up any weak nooks or weak uh, splits. And I've actually got a, uh, a swarm in here right now. So if you, uh, if you can see, if I move this screen out of the way, you can see that I've got a lot of bees in there. <laughs> um, this is probably 10 or 12 pounds of bees. This is actually a couple of swarms uh, that I caught and dumped them all in the same box. And then we'll uh, keep these in the shade because these bees will overheat very, very quickly. Uh, but having screen on all sides really helps, helps keep them cool. We'll keep them in the shade and we'll give them some water and uh, use them later today or tomorrow when we're you know, checking back on our nooks and splits. So yeah, 